Okay, so this is a bit unscripted, but it's been bugging me. Uh, I was listening to a breakdown of the the uproar in the casting of Ghost in the Shell, and I feel like I might be a little late to this party, but the host of the, of the, of the show, I believe it's called The Frame, kept on saying that it was, that it's 2016, and that you know we should be representing people accurately in the material that was presented, uh, or that was optioned, and this, frankly, strikes me as absurd on its face. To say something is, you know, to say that it's 2016 and that we should be doing something because it's 2016 is just shallow reasoning. If an artist chooses to make work based on another work, the artist has the right and and the, I think, obligation to interpret that work however they see, see fit and however they can reach the most amount of people if that's their desire. And in this case, Scarlett Johansson, an amazing actress, has been in some of the biggest blockbuster action films of all time. And she's a huge box office draw. And beyond that, if you're making a piece for a Western audience, you adapt it for a Western audience. If Ghost in the Shell happened to have been written in the West and was adapted for the East, for Japanese audiences, I would fully expect them to adapt it with a Japanese audience uh, in mind. That's called sharing. It's called the melding of ideas. It's where good art comes from. It's where dialogue comes from. It's where understanding comes from. To say that we can't cast a white person in the role of a Japanese character speaks to how shallow your reasoning is. And I think it is, it's hurtful to the art form of filmmaking. The, the purpose of making films, the purpose of making art is to understand or to put forth an idea and have, it, have a conversation or to challenge. And sometimes that requires casting or interpreting a film or a story in an entirely different way. Sometimes it requires throwing out a lot of the story or adding things into the story so that it makes more sense or that maybe you would like to see it in there or maybe it, the idea of changing it excites you and you want to have, you want to be in conversation with that idea. Now, if you're making a historical piece, say, I don't know, about slavery perhaps, it might be a little weird to cast a white person as a black person as a slave unless there was a reason for it. I mean, that's art. That's the whole thing about it, right? You want to be able to interpret the footage, or sorry, the piece, as you see fit. Maybe you won't like it. But to say that something should be a certain way because it's 2016 is just idiotic. And, uh, ah, um, maybe I've shot myself in the foot on this whole thing. And I hate to get to political about filmmaking, but I don't like when artists or critics are criticizing other critics or artists for their artistic choices before the movies haven't been made, before it's even been released, before even before anyone's read the script, it's aggravating. And I, I think that uh, the people on the frame should probably think deeper and maybe interview the, maybe they should interview the artists before they go making judgments about them and the work. And, you know, I don't know, maybe they should consider other factors <sighs> Anyways, I'm heading home. It's been a good week so far at um, the Dead Files. We are progressing towards the end of the season. And uh, we got a really great season seven coming up. I am excited for all of you, the lovers of the paranormal, to see season uh, six and seven as it unfolds. Got some time coming up off. And uh, that's when we're going to shoot the next dark Darkness Calls. And uh, blah, 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 some other stuff. Some other really cool stuff. Anyways, that's it. Catch you guys later.